Can I show you something? It's a signed book. Hi, my name is Olivia, and today we'll be taking a look at this book that I found when I was thrifting. Margaret Peterson Haddix is an American author who has written more than 40 books for children and teenagers. Her books have been honored with the New York Times bestseller and numerous State Reader's Choice Awards. They have also been translated into more than 20 different languages. Children of Exile is a science fiction thriller trilogy that she wrote. The first novel, Children of Exile, is 304 pages long. It was published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers in 2016 and manufactured in the United States. The story went from utopian to dystopian to science fiction as the main character, Rosie, adjusted her new realities through her experiences. The story narrates the life of Rosie, a 12 years old girl. She's the oldest kid in Fredtown. To her younger brother, Bobo, and all the other kids, Rosie is their role model. She's diligent, smart, kind, responsible, and is the embodiment of their Fred parents' teachings. She is sheltered for most of her life, making her nice. The place she is raised in, Fredtown, is filled with peace. The houses there are nice and equally uniform. Conflicts are solved peacefully, adults are responsible, and children have good manners. Everyone lives happily. Everything seems to be perfect except for the fact that all the children know that they are adopted. They know nothing much about their real parents or their hometown until the day they were all sent back home. The theme of this book is loss of innocence, as Rosie has to learn to adapt to the horrid reality of her real hometown after 12 years of being raised in the utopia of Fredtown. The main story highlights Rosie's conflict with reality in her hometown, or first town, as it was referred to in the second book. As the story progresses, it will reveal the major conflict highlighted in the series. First town is very much the opposite of Fredtown. Crimes are everywhere, there are many burnt houses, and there are people with scars on their face. More about the story, the children living in Fredtown were raised by adults called Freds. They knew little about their birthplace and their real parents, only that it was not safe for them to stay. For 12 years, they had lived in bliss until they were all sent back home. All the children, including Rosie, were questioning why they were sent home, knowing that it was not a safe place. Nevertheless, a little part of them were curious to know what their home was like. Shortly after their arrival, the children were shocked to learn that their home was the opposite of what they were used to back in Fredtown. They had to face the awful reality of being home. After living in their real hometown, they soon realized that the Freds had been keeping many secrets from them. The idealistic Rosie had to face that people were not as nice as she thought. She had to feel the discrimination against eye colors, sexism, hatred, and being outcasted by society. As the oldest, Rosie and her friend Edwy swore to look out for each other and for all the other children. Through all the obstacles, they kept trying to unlock secrets that were hidden from them. Until one day, Rosie had to take action to save her friends, family, and even humanity. You know, going in, I did not think much of this book. But shortly after I read it, I was quickly immersed in the story. The way the author wrote it in first person makes me engage with the main character. The story is fast-paced but written in a way that is easy to follow. I enjoyed how every chapter made me curious. As a reader, you cannot imagine what will happen next. You are in the same position as Rosie, naive and young with limited knowledge, trying to uncover the truth. The thing which does not sit right with me is the change of plot. So the plot twist at the end kind of threw me off guard. Spoiler alert, it is nothing like the story I had in my head, but despite that, I have grown to love the character so much and became curious. 
The ending ended in sort of of a cliffhanger, but I did end up reading the second and third books over the holidays because I was really curious to find out what will happen next. A unique thing about the series is the numbers of question sentences. There are lots of questions thrown in most of the paragraphs. As a reader, it is dreadful to read sentence after sentence aiming to make the readers curious when they already are. But I also think that the questions emphasize the curiosity and lacking knowledge of the main character. Another thing that I did not expect is that every book in this trilogy uses a different character's perspective. I expected to follow Rosie's journey in the second book only to find out that it was written from Edwy's perspective, which I'm not complaining. In the end, I still very much enjoy this book. I would recommend it to teenagers or young adults who want to learn more about life. This book can open your eyes to see the world from a different perspective. I never really understand my parents due to my idealistic view. After reading Children of Exile and seeing how ugly situations can become, I can understand my parents' perspective a little bit more now. Aside from that, I would recommend Children of Exile for book lovers who love nice stories, especially ones that involve mystery, thriller, and science fiction. My suggestion for people who end up reading the first book is that if you dislike the ending, I suggest you drop it. Because the genres of the rest of the series will match up with the ending of the first book. That is it for this video. And for more information about the book, you can check it out at hadixbooks.com. Thanks for watching!